you got in the game young. Yeah. But I also have some information on you that says that as the years have gone by that you've really kind of transformed into like a real freak. Like you, you've got a lot of I wild so. stuff you do in your personal life as well, yes, right? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And absolutely. this is up to and including sex slaves. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Explain I do how that, that too. works. I do that too. Oh, shit, it got me in big trouble too. So yeah, you gotta I've be seen careful. that too. Um, so I, I love for someone to cater to me. I am an alpha female and I enjoy it. So I, if I want someone to go and help me with, uh, maybe I'm shooting a scene in particular and I need flowers for the scene or I need something for the girls or stockings or maybe I want you to come over and clean my floors. You know, I don't fucking know. Maybe I want you to eat my pussy today. Maybe I want to eat. You... See, up until there, it was like, sounded Regular, like an assistant. Yeah, or yeah. like, yeah. Then no, you say, eat my pussy. That's like, okay, sex slave. Yeah, that's a sex slave because I want him to do all of that stuff. Uh-huh. To do everything. And how do you find guys that are open to this sort of uh, relationship? I don't know. I just make it, I think I just uh, make it known that that is what I want, I think. So and I don't even say that's what I want in particular. I kind of just, I kind of make it a routine. And then once you get into this routine, you're like, okay, so this is the dynamic and this is what we're doing. And that's what the fuck we're doing. So. But would these guys identify as sex slaves or is that just how you sort of choose to view them? Um, if I call you a sex slave, you are a sex slave. So okay. yes, the, the men that I identify as sex slave, yes. If, uh, if you're a side nigga, then you're a side nigga. If you're a sex, you know, everybody's got different titles. Right. You know, okay. So. But see, the problem is, yes. is back in my single days when you would have a girl that was in your life and she kind of understood that her role was just to come through mm -hmm. once in a while yeah. and fuck you or Absolutely. whatever. As time goes by, they start to want more. And that's the problem. That is the problem. That is the problem. So uh, because they know that that's what it is. There you are. I am not a sheep in wolf's clothing. OK, I am a motherfucking wolf. My teeth are you can see my teeth from far away. Seven, eight, ten miles. So. It's just a psychological thing that happens to people. Anybody, I mean, you're a human being and you care about somebody. You are spending time with that person for a, a substantial amount of time every single day or mm -hmm. very often, then you're going to feel that way and you're going to want more. Yeah. And that's where the problem comes because it's not going to happen. And that's when they get removed from the roster? Uh, sometimes I try to gently push them out and the responses are not good. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. So okay. do you get a new one as soon as you get that person out of your life? Um, usually, yeah, but this time it was difficult. It was a little difficult this time. This time it was crazy. It was it was a psycho. I found a psychopath. I found okay. I found someone who was a narcissist who just wanted to I don't know if he wanted to take over my life and control me or just be a part of it so much, but it, it he just blew it up and destroyed it instead of making it better so this guy wasn't ever a boyfriend oh but no he was no. he was knowingly in Correct. the sex slave role yes whenever i introduced him to my friends that is how i introduced him and wow. at, huh. at one point you tried to like kind of exit him out of your life um and it, it got go violent well? and i had to i had okay. no choice oh so the violence came before you tried mm -hmm. to boot him out of your life mm -hmm. well he bit me or something yeah during sex or just um, in a street fight in a street fight we don't do street fights <laughs> in a street fight no he did not he it was my birthday or something we were at big bear and i guess i hurt his feelings or made him feel inferior or something of By that calling nature him a sex slave perhaps um i don't know if it was that in particular i think he thought we were making fun of him okay. and we weren't you know um so, but that's something that he could have pulled me aside and talked to me about, but that's not what he did. He, he had bit you instead? He it bit me instead on my ass. Wow. Yes, and that was the first violent act, and that's when I knew that, oh, okay. Oh, I'm playing. Oh, I'm he, assuming this wasn't just a little love bite? Oh, no, baby. No. Oh, no. Oh, this was disrespectful. Versus oh, some this capillaries? Was, you ain't working for a month, bitch. Really? Oh, yeah. Holy shit. You bit the shit out of me. You tried to bite my skin. Out of, yeah, you tried to take a chunk out of my, yeah, it was disrespectful. And you're in Big Bear, so. And I'm in Big Bear. You choose to tell him to get the hell out of your life at that point, I'm assuming? Um, uh, me and my friends did the best that we could, because I was with a lot of other adult film stars, and we were all there together. And so we did the best that we could to kind of diffuse the situation and make it better the next day, uh -huh. because we're stuck there together. Yeah. Right. But he made everyone uncomfortable each day, 
my friends are dropping like flies mm. because each day he's doing something that's making people so uncomfortable that they are just like, you know what, Misty, we're going to actually just, yeah, we're going to literally drive up the hill and just completely leave. So, yeah. And then eventually it just continued on. Even though I would push him away, you get a stalker, they call your phone, they call your friends, they call your family, they... What else do they do? Uh, they come to your home. They bring flowers. They vandalize. I mean, you don't know what you're going to get from that person because mm -hmm. they're a fucking psychopath. And yeah. this just kept going for oh, how long um, after you, uh, after the bite? Hmm, I want to say, and now don't get me wrong there because you can, I didn't know he a fucking psychopath. So there are times that I was like, okay, baby, if you get it together, you good. You can come back and we're going to be good. But every time I would allow him you know, because what is the word I'm looking for? People like that tend to try to act as if they're going to be so great. No, this time I'm going to do it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm not like that. I'm not like this. I'm going to do this. And they plead and plead and constantly call your phone 50 times that you eventually give in mm -hmm. because somebody is calling you and pleading with you and sending you flowers and doing this. And you're just like, okay, baby. Okay. So if you can act right, then let's try this again. Mm -hmm. Okay. What and year are we talking? Uh, this, he went to jail the first time for seven months. I put him in jail and he's in jail currently now for wow. the same thing, for the same thing. Yes. Really? So he went away for seven months, comes got, back, keeps and, harassing you. I got cameras and everything, baby. He right on the camera doing the same fucking shit. Wow. And this is, I'm trying to tell you <laughs> when you get a stalker, it's real. Be careful. How much time did you get on this And I pray that round? it never happens. Huh? How long has he been locked up now? And do you know how long the sentence is? Uh, this time it's only been, he's only been in there like a couple months. I want to say even a month from this date, but I have to go to court and hopefully he's gonna get three years this time. I wonder what it's like when you're in prison and you're talking to everybody about what you're in there for and a guy's like, yeah, I killed this dude. And somebody's like, yeah, I beat the shit out of this person. And then he's like, I was a stalker. <laughs> Well, he I was got to Misty Stone. Yeah, like, yeah, it's crazy. And not only that, I know he he got so violent as to break into my home and almost beat me half to death one day. Wow, oh, it, it is crazy. Oh, he deserves all the time. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm doing everything. Yeah. There's so many stories that I have about this young man. It's insane. And even if I try to back away, he will find someone very close to me a mother, a sister, people from Nebraska. I live in Nebraska at one point, you know, just anybody, coworkers. Yeah, some contract stars, but he just fucked up a lot of shit for me. Uh -huh. You know, just reaching out to multiple fucking people and having me consistently apologize over and over for his ridiculousness. So yeah, as I'm getting harassed and don't know if I want to stay at my house or not. Yeah. She, that must even, really there scary. was an incident where he shot at my house. Shot at? Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's crazy. So there's a lot. So I'm so sorry you had to yeah, deal with that. Yeah, it's okay. That's all right. You put your foot down. You be an alpha fucking female and you put his ass in jail. You bury him under the jail. If you give him that many chances and he don't understand, then you put his ass in jail. Because I yeah. feel terrible putting my black man in jail. Oh, baby, I feel so bad deep down inside. But I know that if I don't do this to this man, he is going to continuously do it. And he's either going to end up dead. So I feel like I'm saving his life by putting him and in jail. And he might do this to another person as uh -oh, well. Oh, he's done yeah. it to other girls. Yeah. I've, I've heard his record. There's more. Wow. But we don't have that much time for this fucking show. <laughs> realistically, and I'm trying to suck dick today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, realistically, the jails pretty much are for people like that. Yeah, right? no, yeah. he has to stay in there yeah. because he's something wrong. And in his mind, I am doing this to him, not him doing this mm. to himself. Uh -huh. He's so the victim. You, you're the yes. perpetrator. Got so it. So you, you can't help nobody like that. Yeah. I've been in this circle round and round with somebody. You can be the nicest person and or you can blame the victim and tell me, well, why you keep letting them come back? Because I am trying to be a good person just like you would or you would or you would if somebody is looking for help. OK, yeah. especially if you care about him. You're like, all right, this nigga do everything for me. He go to the store for me, clean my floor. Suck, he's sucking pussy real good. I like mm -hmm. this nigga. He's the awesome nigga. So I'm gonna give them another chance but some people don't have it there and you're not dealing with um logical human yeah. beings and that's just what you have to deal with and you do also have to deal with the scrutiny of your friends and why did you do this like that and blah 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 but 
ain't nothing I could do if a nigga calling me 200 times a day and coming to my house five times a day. What do you want me yeah. to do? So has this changed how you, you view the sex slave dynamic? Ah, uh, does it? Does it involve too many weirdos to, coming into your life? I try not to get the most dangerous ones. Okay. <laughs> But you couldn't have known in the beginning, right? right. I like, think I knew he was dangerous. Oh, really? Yeah. I think I like the monsters. I prefer because I, again, am so, I don't know. I'm just. You're a sweetheart. Yeah, I'm a sweetheart. So I need a monster. Well, I'm also. <laughs> I have one right here. <laughs> <laughs> I present to I you. I like monsters. Monsters so. of cock .com. Yeah, and, I, and you get in trouble because sometimes when you train your monster, they turn on you. Right. And that would be terrible. So, you, yeah. Uh, That's but what happened. Also, it seems like in your upbringing, you probably. We're around a lot of oh, yeah. Oh my god! All the dudes. men in my yeah. family are protectors. Right. Oh, uh, they don't play. Oh, I wish shit. you would.